going on guys? I'm going to really quick give you reasons why I chose the Haltech over the Holly. And after using them for a couple years, why I still choose the Haltech over the Holly. Uh, one of my biggest gripes with it is the fact that the Haltech, number one, you can tune in Lambda. So that is something you cannot do with the Holly. Holly, you cannot tune in Lambda. It's 2019, you still can't tune in Lambda. That's ridiculous. Where the hell are you at, Holly? Make some changes, come on guys. Uh, another thing that I like about the Haltech system is that they can remote in. They, I mean, anybody can remote in, really. Holly could do it too. I don't know if they do it or not. But now, Haltech, first day I had this thing, I get rid of fire it up, it's cranking, cranking, cranking. I have no spark, couldn't figure out why. Call them up, no problem. It's like, hey, we're gonna do some team viewer. I'm gonna send you a, a code. I think it's team viewer, it may not even be team viewer. They give you a code basically, you type in the code, go in there, they connect. The next thing you know is the mouse is moving on its own like there's a damn ghost in the computer. And they can go on there and kind of search and see what's going on. They can see everything that you're doing right there in front of them. You could be in California and they can be in Kentucky. It doesn't matter. And they basically fixed mine up just like that, you know, they're gonna snap. And uh, to me, I thought that was flipping awesome. Another thing that I like about the uh, the Haltech system is that the fact that they come out with a lot of free setup pages from the get-go, from the rip. They have on the main page, as soon as you come up to it, on the left side you'll have everything, all the tables and everything you need to adjust to tune the car. On the main page over here you'll have everything that it shows that you're going to be tuning whenever you select over whatever you select on the left side of the page. But basically you'll have your tune table and then you'll have some gauges and stuff that go up the right side and you can adjust those gauges to anything you damn well please. And then at the top of that, you'll have little tabs above above that page on the right side. You can go up there and they'll have like an idle page, and it's all about idle. And basically, it gives you all the data that you're going to need to adjust for the idle. It'll tell you like the percentage that your IEC is open, or if you've got um, drive-by wire, it'll tell you the percentage that your that your um, throttle valve is open, throttle is open, and all that good stuff. And then they got a diagnostics page. Say you're having problems, you can't figure out why. Well, a diagnostics page is great because It'll list everything that you can think of that you need to diagnose why the f it ain't working, you know. And uh, my biggest thing is I like about it is that you can see trigger error count. So basically, what that means is, is say your crank's spinning around and your crank's got a uh, a wheel on it basically, and you got a sensor that goes off of it. Well, that wheel is what it's picking up off of. It's got like 35 teeth on it. I think what it is. Probably not even 35. I can't think off the top of my head. But anyway, it's picking up on that, so it knows the rotation, knows where and when to fire each cylinder and all that good stuff. It'll actually tell you when it misses a trigger point. So basically, it'll it'll tell you, say, hey, yo, you got a problem here. The uh, you know we didn't fire on that cylinder because we missed the trigger point. You're having a trigger error, so then that kind of tells you that, hey. You know, is there a problem with the sensor? Is the sensor not close enough to the trigger wheel? Or is is my voltage off or my threshold off the way I got it set up? And that's another thing on the Haltech that you can do. You can actually go in and adjust. And now you may be able to in a holly, but I ain't gonna find it. Uh, you can actually go in and adjust the voltage at what the system wants to see to pick up on each trigger point. So that's pretty nice. Um, another thing that I like is the home page display like I've already went over. It's super nice, it's easy on the eyes, a lot easier in my opinion than the Holly. The Holly has a generic feel, you know, I would say that, you know, the Holtex Target, and you got your Walmart over there, it does a lot of things, but at the end of the day it's Walmart. Um, it's got, the uh, Haltech has a crap ton of preloaded base maps already, which makes it great for just about anybody, whereas the Holly does not have very many. So if you got an import, sorry about your luck, because more than likely it's not gonna be on there. Uh, now, if you've got a LS vehicle, you're in luck because about 90% of you fucks use LS. I use, or I use the Holly on the LS. Uh, I used it on the LS because of that, because everybody uses Holly on LS. And I think that if you're gonna do LS, probably going to end up going to Holly. I mean, the Haltech is more than capable of doing it, but most people are going to choose the Holly just for the fact that there is so many people using it and you can get so much help from it. So, you have to think about that as well. 
Another thing I like about the Haltech system is, is there's constant improvement going on. I mean, they are always adding new features and adding new stuff in the tabs where that way you ain't got to configure the crap. It's already pre-configured. You just click the button, add what wire you're using to go out to whatever you're doing, and then boom, you're ready to rock and roll. You're already got it going on. Whereas the Holly, you're going to have to customize a page or do, you're just going to have to do a lot more stuff. You're basically not configured because they don't have a whole lot of configures, configurations already set up for certain things. Um, another thing I like about the Haltech system, which I think you can do with the Holly as well, but you would have to again go in and configure everything. Whereas everything on the Haltech is a simple click, couple of clicks, and basically it's added to the software, and you ain't got to do a whole lot. It's the uh, trim modules. Trim modules is a thing where you give 12 selector points. So say I want uh, selector number one, whenever I change the dial, I go to number one point on the dial, I can have that as a street tune basically. You know, I can say, hey, I want it to pull this much timing out or take this much boost out on the street whenever I'm running 93, or I can change it to the, the setting number two where I say, hey, I'm at the drag strip. I want a lot more timing on the bottom end a little bit easier on top or vice versa you know that way if you're blowing the tires off you can kind of ease in on it you're instead of having to bring out a laptop and you're in line you can basically look in front of you and be like oh shit that guy spun oh shit that guy spun click click couple of clicks you don't have to pull a laptop out you know that that setting is going to pull x amount of timing on the on the start and maybe you got the two step a little bit lower right there so you know that that setup is more than likely going to go down the track and that's something that's really awesome you can do it in the stage lanes no problem that's awesome now I will give Holly some props. Their uh, closed loop slash self learning uh, is a little bit easier to set up. It's a little bit easier for somebody new to understand because it's basically just on a percentage base. Whereas the Haltech, you basically gotta go into an O2 trim setup. You gotta go below the O2 tab, and below that you have to check the uh, PIDs, the proportional integral and the derivative setups, and that's how you adjust how quickly it's gonna make a change and how big of a change it's gonna make and all that good stuff. Whereas the Holly, you say 100%. I want to do 100% of this, and it's going to, you know, do as much as possible. And the Hollies are extremely good at that. Uh, I was very surprised at how good the Holly is. I have not yet on the Haltech went extremely like on that side of letting it do 100% corrections yet. I'm creeping up on it because I don't know. I don't know exactly where I'm going to be at on the proportional and the integral setup to actually get it to do that without overshooting. So basically I just tune the damn car myself, which is what everybody should be doing, is you tune the fucking car yourself and go through the damn points like you need to and just adjust it and don't worry about what the fuck the computer's gonna do. Uh, one thing I do like, another thing I like about that Holly setup is the fact that it boots up a lot quicker. It is extremely slow on the Haltech when you go in and I just wanna freaking poke my eyes out sometimes. It's so crazy. Both of them have extremely good help menus. What I mean by help menus is if you get confused or lost and want to know what something does in that ECU or the software basically, it will tell you everything. It will break it down like a Webster dictionary, son. I mean, it is good. I mean, they did a fantastic job on both sides of that. Uh, that's really all I've got. But I do, like I said, I prefer the Haltech. The biggest thing is, is is that I can tune a Lambda. And I also like the fact that it's got that diagnostic page already set up right there on the main page. And then I also like the form factors a lot smaller to easier to get in, which sucks because you do have to use expansion modules and such uh, on it if you want to do some things, whereas the, the uh, Holly has got everything in one box, but it's a massive fucking box. Um, Holly does have a good thing coming out for you LS guys are already out actually, is that Terminator X, which I think is great if you're in an LS. I mean, it just makes so much sense to just go with that, especially if you don't need a whole lot of inputs, outputs. But if you're somewhere where say, there's not a whole lot of Holly people around, there's not a whole lot of support for Holly, or there's not a whole lot of support at all for a standalone, I would choose the Haltech because like those guys are super top notch when it comes to uh, helpful information. Like you just pick up phone call them and boom, they're on top of it. I mean, I've sent them messages on, uh, I've sent them emails plenty of time. And I mean, they're within an hour. I've got to answer. Um, 
That's all I've got on this. I do believe, in my opinion, my whole Harley opinion, is that Haltech has great traction control built in. That's something that Holly does not have, not without using a, a Davis block. So there is that. But I hope this is helpful for some of you guys. A lot of this stuff is preference based, so I urge you, extremely urge you to go online and download the softwares for the Haltech, the Haltech or Haltech, however you want to say it. That's the reason why I keep flipping around what I say. Uh, the Holly also, get on there and download both of them. If you see something else you like, like Motec or the Fuel Tech, I like the Fuel Tech stuff. I messed with it last night. It seems pretty, pretty all right. The Motec stuff, it's going to take a little bit getting used to. A lot of people like it. I'm trying to figure out why. Uh, I think it has to do more with the hardware specs than the software in my mind because it's a little bit difficult to figure out. Um, it's just difficult to figure out how to set up your packages and everything like that. If you ever open a Motec, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But uh, other than that, just download the software, get around, play with it, find out who's running what in your local areas, figure out who you're gonna get to help you, and roll with it. Definitely if you're not tuning a car, find a good dealer, buy from that dealer, and fucking roll on it, because that's all you need to do. The help that you're gonna get from a dealer is far more superior than what ECU you choose to use, because they're all pretty well equal. So, if you like this video, hit that like button if you don't care. Subscribe to us. Uh, it'd be great. Getting ready to make some changes to the orange car. Uh, as you know, the LS car is gone. Haven't made a video in a long time. Long story. You're not going to get to it. Uh, NMRA is coming up. I'd like to go run that. Probably won't, but I'd like to go run that. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.